I don't know why my family can't accept a mold patch as an acceptable interior design choice, or maybe a pet. We've been running this for about two days now, and look how much water has collected. Hello, I'm Neil, welcome back to The Happy Hut. I am the Tightwad Dad. It's a place where we try to be happy with what we've already got, as the graphic illustrates quite clearly there. Uh, but what's this? This is stuff that I've bought, but I'm gonna try and be happy with this because this helps us be happy with our home. And instead of fixing it and making it good and safe for my family, I thought I'd slap a few quid on a dehumidifier under 50 pounds. Does it work? Well, actually this dehumidifier is under 40 pounds. Got this bad boy from, I think it's more of a lady though, isn't it? I got this from Lidl here in the UK. <laughs> you can also get it on that online place. There's a link in the description. I'd better unbox it, hadn't I? So this is to make our home less dangerous. Let's see what you get in the box. You get power cable, operating instructions. And what I understand it does, because we've got one already, it takes water out of the air. Of course, we put the water into the air in the first place, but it was easier to get this than to spend the tens of thousands of pounds it would take to fix our home. Well, say that. Every builder quote I get is exactly 10 grand. It's uncanny, isn't it? But this particular 10K problem I'm gonna try and crack or mitigate with 39 pounds 39. That's what I paid for it. You might find it cheaper in the, in the link below. I feel a bit intense. As you can see, apples have fallen off the tree. Winter is definitely on its way. Now this is what it looks like. You couldn't actually see the back on the online shopping site. So that's what it looks like, if that helps, if that's why you're clicking on this masterpiece of content. I love that I watch uh, like iJustine and she's like, she's reviewing iPhone Pros in exotic locations. And here I am in um, the garden with a bit of electrical from Lidl. Hi Justine. Now this has had, oh shouldn't maybe hit it. I'll gently stroke it and welcome it to our home like Marie Kondo says we should. This has had, oh, shh, I don't want to hear Silent Night, cover your ears, but it's had mixed reviews on Amazon. Some say it does not take enough water out of the air. Some say it's not too quiet. I'll give you a little sound test in a moment. It's a marvel of technology. It can actually remove water from the air. And apparently this water, having too much water in the air is, is probably the cause of this lovely sight <laughs> in my daughter's bedroom. Oh, it's some old, the mold patch is back. We should give it a name. I don't know why my family can't accept a mold patch as an acceptable interior design choice, or, or maybe a pet. I saw this on BBC4 that when plants and and animals split in evolution. Mold and fungus didn't. They carried on with the animals and they split later, they're, they're us. I mean, basically we're host bodies for the mold. I'm not quite sure why my gut bacteria is allowing me to make them a bit thirsty for a bit. Oh, I'm such a bad dad. I've only got one job. Well, that's to take the bins out on a Thursday, but the, the other job is to protect my family and provide shelter for them. So if you've got an idea for a name for our patch of mould, leave a comment. We'd love to name the patch of mould before we seek to destroy it with the Silent Night's dehumidifier. And the way you plug this particular one in is a figure of eight cord, and it plugs in at the back here. It's actually a bigger version of the little one we bought from Robert Dias. So the figure of eight cord goes in there and you switch it on here. And when you want to empty it, you pull it out here. The one on the smaller dehumidifier we've got, which I think I spent about 15, 20 quid on, it's actually got mold growing inside and this is sealed or I couldn't work out how to open it. So I don't, I don't know how you clean inside, but when it fills up with water, it's really clever. You pull this rubber plug out there and you can, tip the water out. So the question is, should I plug it in here with all the noise and, and do it outdoors like you're not supposed to? Or should we try it in my little girl's room? Look on the ceiling, here's the moon and the stars. Ah, oh, and over here is a big patch of mold and some more mold. So here it is in place, in pride of place in my 
little daughter's bedroom. The first thing is that the cord isn't that long. It's about a meter, meter and a half. So I've rather stylishly fixed that with a bit of power. Added that there to make it look nicer, but I guess it doesn't, does it? I'll use it as a little visual aid that this is the Silent Night dehumidifier. Man, I wish I could be you. So this is what it looks like on, on the shelf. It's about arm's length with my big arm. So I don't know, sort of 40, 40 to 50 centimeters tall, which is strange because on the picture on the box, look, they've made it look tiny. Either that or they've got a giant phone. Here's the other dehumidifier we've used up until now, the Pro Breeze. So that's about two thirds of the height. I'd say that's probably 25 to 30 centimeters tall. This is what it sounds like. We'll turn it on, it's the excitement. Oh look, I've got Biro on it already. That's from my hand just now. Anyway, let's turn it on. Now this is a bit disingenuous because my microphone is, is far away, but equally, if I lean close, that's gonna give you an unfair idea of how loud it is. It's like a very small fan. It's a little bit louder than white's noise. It's not unbearable. It's like the sort of the first setting on an extractor fan over your cooker. And it's certainly louder than this. I'll, I'll compare that to the smaller Pro Breeze. So you have a fan noise with this one, but this one is definitely quieter because it sounds like a smaller fan. So that might give you an indication of the type of noise, if not the actual loudness. In the description, the first line I'll put is, is this any good? So you'll know if it is the best dehumidifier for under 50 pounds. We've been running this for about two days now and look how much water it's collected. Interesting. It has been working really, really well for us. It is slightly louder than a smaller unit, but it's certainly really super effective. Yeah, look at that water. Slightly louder than we'd prefer it to be, but really effective at collecting moisture in the air. If you've reached this point in the video, I can't imagine that someone would, <laughs> but if you have, why not give me a little signal by clicking on the thumbs up? It'd be lovely to, to hear from you in the comments as well. If you've got a name for our, our new pet, if you've got a name for him or her, is it, is it male or female? Uh, leave that in the comments below. I'll put links to this dehumidifier in the description below. Amazon, Jeff Bezos gives us pennies for each unit sold. You might help fund the electricity to run this dehumidifier. So thank you for your support. And if you really want to help us, why not click on the subscribe button? You need never watch any of our videos again, but each subscriber helps take us closer to the cherished goal of 1000 subscribers. So thanks if you are able to click on that subscribe button. Good luck in removing all the liquid from your family's home. Yeah, that, that's the one that sounded really elegant. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. How was that?